Yes, ma'am. Uh, Berks County is home to one of only three family detention centers in the entire country. So I know that myself and a lot of the advocates here have worked for the last two years tirelessly for the kids that are stuck in family detention. Berks County, we have kids right now who have been detained without release for eight months. And I need to know what, if anything, you could do in your capacity as the future president of the United States or even as a senator, how you could help these kids. Well, number one, is this, this is a publicly owned or part of the owned? This is owned by the county of Berks. Yeah. Right. And well, the license has been stripped by the I've state of that. Pennsylvania. Okay. Yes. Uh, and the state intends to shut it down? The state has stripped its license, but the county and immigration themselves have refused to shut it down. Well, this is part of a broken criminal justice system. And I am opposed to the president's initiatives to deport uh, people who are here, by and large, unless they're criminals. Uh, and I will do my best to stop the deportations, to shut down private detention centers. And if I'm hearing now that the state feels that this detention center should not have a license, I would strongly support that initiative. Now, I also believe that when we talk about criminal justice, we have got to end corporate ownership of prisons and detention centers. And I also believe that it is time to shut down the Burks Family Detention Center. The government should not be in the painful and inhumane business of locking up families who have fled unspeakable violence in Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador, and other countries throughout the world. Instead, we should treat these families with the compassion, the dignity, and the respect they deserve.